Good evening to uh, the St. Andrews community and to anyone who is finding us on Facebook and YouTube. Here is just a simple recording of evening prayer for Wednesday in Holy Week. Just wanted to give a status update. Uh, if you were with us last um, last night for evening prayer, the cat had a bit of a tumble from about five feet or so. She was on a in a box that she likes on top of a bookshelf. Somehow she tumbled out of it and uh, fell to the ground. But I think she's totally okay. She landed mostly on her feet. And then she left. Uh, so let us bring, uh, bring our own needs, the needs of the world, uh, to God in this time of prayer. And let's open ourselves up to the words that we will hear in the scriptures that we would find some sort of preparation happening in what we're doing for um, for the tritium for Thursday and Friday, and especially for Easter as we come close to that. We pray that this time together would help us mark, uh, mark this special week and to help mold us into people of faith and of renewed hope, especially through the many challenges our world is laboring with at this time. Oh Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Behold, now bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Psalm 74. O God, why have you utterly cast us off? Why is your wrath so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation and that you purchased long ago, the tribe you redeemed to be your inheritance. In Mount Zion, where you dwell, turn your steps toward the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste everything in your sanctuary. Your adversaries roared in your holy place. They set up their banners as tokens of victory. They were like men coming up with, the ax with axes to a grove of trees. They broke down all your carved work with hatchets and hammers. They set fire to your holy place. They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, let us destroy them altogether. They burned down all the meeting places of God in the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, will the adversary scoff? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why is your right hand hidden in your bosom? Your God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might and shattered the head of the dragons upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him to the people of the desert for food. <clears throat> you split open spring and torrent. You dried up ever flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O oh Lord, how the enemy scoffed, how a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Do not forget the lives of your poor. Look upon your covenant and the dark places of the earth, for they are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed turn away ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, maintain your cause. Remember how fools revile you all day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries, the unending tumult of those who rise up against you. So we pray, O oh God, when violence threatens and destruction seems at hand, help us to remember that you maintain your cause and still rule your universe through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, 
Cursed be anyone who trusts in human beings, who relies on human strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord. Such a one is like a shrub in the wastelands, living in the parched places of the desert, uninhabited salt land. When good comes, it brings no benefit. Blessed is anyone who trusts in the Lord, with the Lord to rely on. Such a one is like a tree by the waterside that thrusts its roots to the stream. When the heat comes, it has nothing to fear. Its foliage stays green, untroubled in a year of drought. It never stops bearing fruit. The heart is more devious than any other thing. It is perverse. Who can pierce its secrets? I, the Lord, search the heart, test the motives, to give each person what such conduct and such actions deserve. Heal me, Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Look, they keep saying to me, where is word of the Lord? Let it come true then. I have never ceased to shepherd you. I never desired the fatal day, this you know. What came from my lips was not concealed from you. Do not be a terror to me. You are my refuge in time of disaster. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response, we offer this canticle, this coming from the 21st and 22nd chapters of the book of Revelation. <clears throat> I saw no temple there in the city, for its temple is the God of surpassing strength and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to light it, for the glory of God shines on it, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light the nations walk. And its rulers of the world lay their honor and glory there. Its gates shall never be shut by day, nor shall there be any night. Into it they will bring the honor and glory of nations. I saw the clean river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. The tree of life spanned the river, giving fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. All curses cease where the throne of God and the Lamb stands, and all servants give worship there. There they will see God's face, whose name shall be on their foreheads. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Jesus said, now my soul is troubled. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it is for this very reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. A voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will again glorify it. The crowd standing by who heard this said it was thunder. Others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, the voice came not for my sake, but yours. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all people to myself. Saying this, he indicated the kind of death he would die. The crowd answered, we have heard from the law that the Messiah will remain forever. So how can you say the son of man must be lifted up? Who is the son of man? Jesus said to them, the light is with you a little longer. Walk while you have the light so that darkness does not overtake you. And nobody who walks in the dark knows where he is going. While you still have the light, believe in the light so that you may become children of light. Having said this, Jesus left them and was hidden from them. The gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. 
He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, a promise he made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to the Father who loved the world so much that he sent his only Son to give us life. Simon from Cyrene was forced to carry the cross for your Son. Give us grace to lift heavy loads from those we meet and to stand with those condemned to die. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Your son watched the soldiers gamble to share his clothes, transform the hearts of those who make a profit from their victims and those whose hearts are hardened by their work. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The thief who was crucified with Jesus was promised a place in your kingdom. Give pardon and hope, healing and peace to all who look death in the face. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. From the cross, Jesus entrusted Mary, his mother, and John, his disciple, to each other's care. Help us also to care for one another and fill our homes with the spirit of your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In Mary and John, your son created a new family at the cross. Fill our relationships and those of new families today with mutual care and responsibility and give us a secure hope for the future. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The centurion was astonished to see your glory in the crucified Messiah. Open the eyes of those who do not know you to see in your son the meaning of life and death. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph of Arimathea came to take your son's body away. Give hope and faith to the dying and the bereaved, and gentleness to those who minister to them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. <clears throat> Simon and Joseph, Mary and John became part of your church in Jerusalem. Bring into your church today a varied company of people to walk with Christ in the way of his passion and to find their salvation in the victory of his cross. Lord of the church, hear our prayer. Make us one in heart and mind to serve you in Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, your Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and turned his face for men to spit upon. Give your servants grace to accept suffering for his sake, confident of the glory that will be revealed through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times. Amen. <clears throat>